there are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not want to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother, and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If you are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we will all perish. Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Motion and we're here with some Penumbra Overture. Basically, this is the game that um, the developers of Amnesia made before Amnesia, basically. And not a lot of people know about this game. I just know it's a game that I have a lot of love for. Also, I don't know why I can already click load, <laughs> load the game. That's not something I'm used to. There's nothing in there, of course. But yeah, we're gonna be doing this. Um, I watched the playthrough five years ago, so it's I have memories of the game, but they're very fuzzy. So I'm, I'm just like, okay, it's been five years. It's a good time for me to finally do my own playthrough. And here we go. Now, of course, you're gonna get normal. This is most players. My story began in February, year 2000. Do I have to click something? For my part, slow. Miss Allegory. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went, as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. 12 hours, huh? But it was gonna last longer than that. Ooh, some weird textures going on in this. Okay, now it's fine again. Finally, we're almost docked. You better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse. <laughs> and I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Thank you. That's so much easier than clicking E for stuff and F. Sensitivity is weird, but it's fine. Notebook, to-do list, notes, and then reminders. Alright, could we move on? I, I clicked back and... Okay, whatever, that was weird. So, we have a bag here that we can't use. We have a lock we have to open. Wait, I can examine this? Oh yeah, you have to right-click for examining. Let's travel with a padlock, and a key, preferably. Mine's in the inventory. Well, that makes it easy. How do I... Do I... How do I use it? <laughs> Actually, how do I use it? How do I get out of my inventory? Do I have to put it there? 
Ah, okay, I get it. I get it now. Got some, uh, some glow sticks. We got some batteries. Hey, don't have to stop my movement every time. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date. But landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Alright. This chat is... yeah, this chest is indeed open. And I can jump, good to know. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still have only one bed on board. Taking shifts because it is no way to get at your rest. But what does fisherman's what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? Didn't mean to have that in the way. <laughs> I'll be praying every night for you to make the cat make the catch you need, so that you come can come home to me safely. And soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know? I washed these overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing that they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons mine the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll become by on any trout. But I said you were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Still them well in the eyes, and you'll do something special with them. Celebrate when you've come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. I click oh, that was weird. Uh, and yeah, of course, he would... Or they have a ba bottle of Jack Daniels. Fucking branding that I just realized they had in this game. <laughs> Why do I have two of the same bottle of... L literally, like, you can look at it. Just look at that, that's clearly da Jack Daniels. Daniels, I can't even speak. And... Uh, we get a flashlight, that's nice. Don't need to use it right now, of course. Pretty odorous. Thought I'm getting out of here soon. You must eat and sleep. And, well, do everything else in one room for weeks at a time. Couldn't read both of those things. That wasn't nice of you, game. You have to bring a bucket, of course. For, you know, the fish we're inevitably going to catch. Can I open this? Nope. Well, time to leave. As I stepped out of the boat, off the boat, rather, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and I, and I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Well, why are you giving me cutscene things? It's a cold, don't know where I am. Also, there's... N how... Okay. <laughs> Can I run? I can. I can indeed sprint. I'm gonna bring a rock, because I, I seem to remember having to use a rocket for something. And interact with the. I can, uh, no, I can't, like, examine the rock. Oh, that's what interact mode is. Oh, I have to use interact mode for this too? No. Is this wheel broken? Is it like actually broken? Oh, it, it was just broken for a second. This is hard to do, I swear, this is actually really hard to do. Ugh. Leave. Can't see the bottom. Loading. And we are in darkness. We are in a very long ladder. And I fell. And I had to take a drink of water because it's helpful. Oh, that was blurry. <laughs> I'm sure it was on purpose. Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Well, that was not very helpful tips. Empty out boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Yeah. Can I... No, I can't equip it. I, can't, I don't think that's not how this game works. 
there's some flare, some good stuff. Oh, this one actually opens. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's stuck. Must be something in the way. What the fuck is this? It's like a... No, oh, it's like a canteen. It's a canteen. Got a hammer. No, I did the wrong thing. Whoops. I'm not used to picking up stuff and then getting, like, dialogue or whatever for everything. You know? This is definitely blocking up something, right? No, this is definitely blocking up something. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna say we're gonna need to equip this. Can I please, uh... Oh, we have to hold it in. Kinda awkward to do. Doesn't need to work either. Ha! Ah, we actually did do it correctly. Okay, you just do it from uh, right to left as opposed to up and down, uh, like down and up. That doesn't work. All right, we know how to do it now. <laughs> it's such a weird mechanic. I like it though. Uh, where does that go? This probably moves forward, so I'm gonna go this way first. Can we get up here, please? There we go. Wait. I'm confused. This is- both of those just go the same way. Wait, what? I'm so- okay, whatever. <laughs> this looks like some kind of industrial mechanism. Although there is a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about this? Also, you can lean in this game. Which is good if you're doing, like, sneaky stuff. So I like it. Okay, I, c I can unequip it. I was gonna move the barrel, then I broke it instead. What the fuck? That dialogue did not fit in with the situation that has happened to me. <laughs> Ooh. I, I hope there's no barrels you have to break to get something. I don't really want to go down there, but we're gonna have to, so might as well uh, might as well jump. I open this. Wow, this is hard to do. <laughs> I never played Amnesia at War number myself, so I never got used to the way you'd uh, move stuff like that. Oh, I didn't even. What I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches. Located in a remote, arctic wilderness, and buried beneath in the snow, I didn't know what to expect. It made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I had never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of a phone line. Health and safety in the workplace. Friends, family, lovers. All there. If something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent it all, but most of the mundane of emotions. <clears throat> Once again, I felt like I died. I felt like I, I did not feel like I died. I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. I don't let a note. Okay. Yes, indeed, caved in. I heard that dog. Could any be anything living down here? Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I t face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are more the defense now. If anyone or anything hears me, you do best st of staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control <laughs> will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I know I've got it right because of the blue tint in my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that it won't be heard unless someone's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Take this with me. Ooh. 
Whoops, it didn't break. It didn't break. It's fine. Just tight over here. They really don't care unless they break, do they? Try not to get attacked by something. Music is very uh, ominous. It makes me think something's always behind me. Because I'm like, oh, the music is like, like a sign that you're going to get killed or some shit. As you would usually think, I guess. I haven't seen anyone with me yet. But I definitely heard some growling. Let's move over here. To a place where... Oh shit, there's more. But wait, there's more. How do I throw the bottle? I actually do not know how to throw a bottle. I don't really want to die to discover it. I please drop this without breaking it. Alright, let me see. I probably need to save. Wait, oh, I can't save. So you have to save with, like, save points. I'm not used to playing. Uh, games like this, so this is gonna be interesting to see if I don't suck. Alright, we should be fine now. We should be home free. That's a. Uh, I heard it now. Don't become more and more ominous. That's very confusing to me. Alright, I'm gonna try opening that gate. Or door, rather. It seems like if I go that way, I might just be in the worst of situations. Of course, there's a map here. I'm gonna leave this bottle on the ground here. Slowly. It's still not landing. There we go. So, we have... Northern... I can't actually... Does that say Northern without the R before the end? Anyway, Northern area. Explosives. Office. Exit. Storage and workshop. also locked. Fun locked door. Okay, moving on. Bring my trusted bottle, friend. Wait, let me enter interaction mode real quick. No, it's R. I wanted to move closer to my face so I wouldn't, like, bang into a wall if I tried to turn around. Alright. Still kind of spooked. Don't want to get murdered by doggy dog. So we're moving on. Here's some breathing. <laughs> okay, those are rocks. Not some rat creature that I had to kill. And alert the dogs to my position. Oh, that was kind of a drop. What's in here? Wait, I didn't even check what the room it was. Oh, whatever. We'll see, I guess. Lots of paper box with rusty nails. Well, that's nice. Definitely need those, of course. Can indeed open this door. Oh. I hear some disconcerting noises. If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be a hinded thing to have. from the other side. That Does that mean there's someone still inside? They're not chattering. It's a glowy thing, my jig, over here. Oh, Painkillers and batteries. All right. Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was a good idea. Well, we'll find out soon if it was a good idea. Wait, is there something in the bottom of this thing? Do I have to move the box itself? Ooh. Okay. 
the proposition I am interested yeah yeah it's exactly what I have to do it's a hatch down here oh does it open it opens that way is there more to do in this area though just to say that this actually leads back into the main room looks as it's it's its basement caved in some caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently, though. Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? Um, not a creature you want to have uh, to bump into. Uh, spiders in small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think you can hear the pitter patter of tiny feet. Why did that happen? Horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified, or else the smell would have been awful. Yeah, that's a dog. Okay, couldn't tell <laughs> originally. And steam? That doesn't help me. I can't go that way, and then at least not yet. Day one. I begin this record, still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value. Despite the cha chaos which has been ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. Into that I am, and I have, uh, what? And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food r rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hate from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely thirty years since the incident that brought us here, and now. 30 years on, fate has struck again. Fisherman's wife love letter. Flare? That's nice. Dry dusty old bags. Well then that doesn't help me. Or unless I can bring them, which I can't because you can't drag them. What am I supposed to do with the steam? Am I supposed to just book it when it's not um, going off? Probably. I don't know. Let's go this way. Spider noises are disconcerting. There's a ladder here. That would help me to get out of here. But where's over here? Nothing. Okay. Let's bring this ladder with us. I'm assuming I need something to block that up with. Probably like a bag or something. So we're not like quite done in the area yet. So you just need this ladder to get out of here. Yeah. I can go back up again and see what else there is to find. Why would you why would you leave your shoes outside? <laughs> you probably need you should probably have used those to uh, keep yourself warm. I thought it was uh, ghost. All right, let's see. What else is there to do in here? The bottle is still here. I like that. I expected it to fucking respawn somewhere else, which would not have been cool. Can't just wait for her to hide in the corner. I need to hide. Um. Oh boy. Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything gets in more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I better not stare out. Anything without my, my field of vision might panic me, and then I'm a goner. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> did he leave? Yes, he did. No food. Put away the hammer. Don't need it. As heavy as it looks. Should have to serve some form of weapon if I had to defend myself. Is that the bottle? Can't tell if it's the barrel or the bar. Um, it's the I can make you talk about. Come on. Where's that? Heard growling. Doesn't see me, holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, why did he why did he stop crouching? I didn't do that. It just dropped crouching by itself. Fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> why did he stop crouching like a dickbag? God damn it, dude. 
I was so dumb. I didn't stop crouching. He did it by itself. He did it by himself. By his own damn self. Can you can you only do it for a limited amount of time? Can you only hide for a limited amount of time? Because he just, he just got up by himself. Oh, the rock is what he was talking about. But I have a hammer. I, I consider that a type of weapon. How much health do I have? Okay, so you do actually have health. Uh, I don't know how to throw bottles, though, so that's why I'm still kind of screwed in this situation. Okay, he's gone now. No, he's not. <laughs> Can I get this? Nope. Can't see them, so I'm guessing they're off again. I got the bottle is still there. Small things that I notice. Just stay here until they walk past, and then try to uh, go past them. Figure that's a good, good idea to go with. There he is. <laughs> this is generally uh, creepy. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized the audio is probably too low for the video itself. I'm gonna turn it up a bit. That probably helps quite a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. I hear another one, though. I feel like I hear another one. At least there is only one which would help me. Because I don't really want to have to deal with two of them. That would be annoying. And, uh... Frightening. Oh, he didn't see me. Okay, we should be home free now. Fuck knows, I'm saying that and he probably will screw me in the ass. Um, I mean, bite me in the ass. I didn't mean to say the other thing. Need to get out. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I think we'll just be roaming back there, though. I don't think he's ever gonna uh, go all the way up here. So let's just keep moving. Yeah. I'll check after this episode to see if the audio is alright when I turn it up, or when I turn it back down again. And that's how basically I'm testing this. So I'm not gonna do some t uh, audio testing in the game, because obviously I need to, need to progress in the game to really do that. So... That was right next to my fucking face, and that did not make me feel weird. At all. Okay. Yay, okay, this is a different place. The sun is nice. Light! I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me. But even if I could reach that grate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. Well, they get the power tool or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> Another flare. That's locked. These are not locked, as you might be able to tell. Painkillers is nice. Or are nice, rather. Ooh! Beef jerky! What in the world? Why would I have beef jerky down there in the first place? Seems like a weird thing to have. In the freaking industrial cave system. Oh! Beef jerky again. Made in Germany, 1943. Hmm. Uh, this one first. Can actually see if there's anything in there. Man, that's... I, I ho surely hope there's nothing in there, because I can't see it. Or pro and I probably can't, wouldn't be able to get it anyway. Oh, Copenhagen Post, Monday 17th of August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine. Researchers of the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern lead mine last year. It discovered that even talking into a take, taking into account Greenland's naturally high suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the natural average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of them that miners' symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia, 
This has been this has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH four formula, recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may be present in the rocks. I can't fucking speak. Let me drink for a second. I cannot speak again. Oh, that was it, eh? Wait, did I not? Okay, I didn't. Few locals were conduct. Uh, conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had uh, their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as Turngate live in the mountains. The university is awaiting the results of chemical testing studies to continue. Oh, let's not do that. Also, we're out of time. We're 31 minutes in this, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, interact with this thing again. After I open these batteries, All right? A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before. Still, I know this man before me as Howard. I call him father. That was different, but the same. But the same that time. Like I had more control, but over what? And with that, oh, I couldn't pick this up earlier, I don't think. Oh, uh, let's ignore this for now. <laughs> but yeah, that's a chemical. This is the first episode done. Uh, I'm excited to do this game. It's been quite a while since I've seen anything on it, so I'm excited to just do, our, do my own thing in it, finally. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, even consider subscribing, and... Uh, even following my uh, Twitter, my Facebook, and my Twitch TV. It was it would be very appreciated. And uh, until next time guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.